audio jungle. So let's start first with the customer booking website as a customer you can choose from different services that are being offered on the website such as disinfection service home cleaning ac cleaning sofa cleaning pest control etc below the list of services you can see the floating banners you can go to any particular section or category to which this banner is directed to by clicking on the banner Below that you can see a list of different services such as dining chair, plumber, one time cleaning etc. You can choose it as per your choice. And at the bottom you can see the vendor registration form. So if you want to register as a vendor on this platform you just have to click on this button. Now you can upload your personal details such as your full name, phone number, title, upload the logo and banner of your store, upload your name, description, address enter your website credentials and click on submit so the request would be sent to the admin that you want to register as a vendor so starting with the dashboard here you get a bird's eye view of the entire platform like you can see the total number of pending bookings active bookings number of bookings that have been completed or cancelled by the customers total number of vendors total number of service categories being offered on the platform, total number of banners promotions being run, total number of brands, etc. Below that, you can see the revenue and sales analytics to analyze your business and sales growth on weekly, monthly or yearly basis. And also you can download it in different formats as well. At the bottom, you can see the revenue by location to figure out from what particular region you are getting more revenue and also you can see orders, top categories or what services are performing well. Now let's come to the order section. Here as an admin, you can see the total number of active bookings, ongoing or pending bookings, number of booking and cancellation requests generated by the users. Altogether as an admin, you can view the entire booking history and filter it for any particular time interval or vendor. Next come the vendors or the service providers that have registered on the agent or the service provider app. Here you can see the total number of professionals, total number of services they are offering, number of bookings they have and from the action button, you can update their details like edit their service categories, add services, update their availability like whether they can auto accept order or not, update their commissions, add services or subcategories to their uh, section, add services, update their availability, set their commission percentage, etc. In order to add a vendor to the platform, you just have to click on the add button. Now you can upload the vendor logo, banner image, name, description, email, the service provider's phone number, website and click on submit. Next comes the accounting section. Here you can view the accounting details for different categories like accounting details for orders or the total number of bookings received, accounting details or the account uh, received for the loyalty cards, promo codes, taxes, vendors or service providers and total number of payout requests that are generated by the service providers from the agent application. Like in the order section, you can view the accounting details like the total order value, total number of orders or bookings placed, total cash that has to be collected. Similar is the case for the loyalty cards and promo codes as well. From the taxes section, you can view the type of taxes applied and the total tax collected. And all these accounting details can be downloaded in different formats so that you can analyze your business growth. Next comes the subscription section where you can, as an admin, you can manage subscription plans for the customers and service providers at the same time. So for the customers, you can see there are four different uh, subscription plans, platinum plan, gold plan, silver plan and bronze plan. You can edit the action for the same or you can add a new subscription plan by clicking on the add plan button. Here you can upload the uh, subscription plan title, features, the frequency, whether it will be offered on weekly, monthly or yearly basis, 
the price description and upload the image for it. Similarly, you can update the subscription plan for vendors. Coming to the customer section, here you can manage the data for all the customers or the users that have registered either on the customer application or the service provider application. So here you can view the name for the customers that have registered, the phone number, the wallet details, number of active orders or bookings they have. In order to add a new customer, you have to click on the add button. Now you can enter the customer name, his email, phone number, country, set the verification process whether the customer's profile would be verified using email or phone number and you can also add a profile image to the customer. You can search for any particular customer from the search bar and you can download all the customer data in a CSV file by clicking on the export CSV button. Next comes the product review section. Here you can view the reviews given to different products or services that are being offered on the platform by the customers from the customer application. Next comes the settings section. Let's start with the profile. Where as an admin, you can upload the general profile details such as the logo of the application, the short code that would connect the application to the dispatch panel. Update the name, email, company address, contact number, company name, country of residence, time zone. Coming to the customize section, here as an admin, you can set the admin panel theme, whether you want the light theme or the dark theme, you can view and update the date and time format, define and update the localization, set the primary language of the application and website, add any additional language and similar is the case for currency, you can add any currency, you can set the custom domain, link the social media profiles and set the nomenclature. Coming to the styling section, as an admin, you can manage the styling or customize both the app and website from the admin panel itself. Like if you go to the app styling option, you can set the font styles, you can select the primary color and secondary color, you can set the tab bar style or what icons would be displayed onto the app. Similarly, you can select the home page style of the application. Likewise, in the web styling, you can set the fab icon. You can set uh, whether you want to display the age section pop up or not. From here, you can select whether you want to show the wish list icon, ratings, contact us icon, payments icon, navigation bar. Also, you can select whether you want to show the dark mode or not. Set the home page style. And similarly, you can manage everything that will be displayed on the website and application. Similarly, you can manage styling for everything that would be displayed on the application and website. Next come the CMS or the content management system. So here you can see pages. As an admin, you can manage, edit or update any, any content that would be displayed on the privacy policy page, terms and condition page or the vendor registration page. Similarly, you can manage what content would be sent to the customer for different emails like if a customer is signing for the first time what content would be sent in the verify mail email forgot password email successful email refund email etc and likewise you can manage what content would be sent to the customer in the notification that are sent on to the application and website next comes the catalog section here as an admin you can manage the categories or the services that are being offered on the platform like here you can see all the categories or the services that are currently being on the offered on the platform. You can edit the same from here, add any variant to the existing category. And also you can add the brand or the vendors who would be offering these services. Like for example, if I want to edit this particular category, I'll simply click on the edit category button. Now as an admin, I can up update the icon of this category, image of this category. I can enter any URL slugs, select the parent category for this category, select the theme in which this particular category would be displayed and save my preferences. Coming to the configuration section, here as an admin you can select whether your service provider is offering hyper local services or is he offering on-demand services or last mile delivery services. For last mile delivery and on-demand services, you can enable the dispatcher button by clicking on this enable button. 
To see this in detail, you can check out the live demo of our dispatch solution. You can see the live demo in the suggested uh, video section. Next comes the tag section. Here you can manage different taxes or add any new tax category to this platform. Coming to the payment option section, here you can enable different payment options that would be and the same would be reflected on the customer app and website. Like you can enable the cash on delivery option, PayPal, Stripe, PayFast, PayStack, etc. Also, you can ask the admin to enable or add any new payment gateway to this platform. For details, you can sign up on the link given in description to know more about the same. Lastly, coming to the marketing section, as an admin, you can manage different marketing tools in order to attract the customers and maintain the customer retention rate. Firstly, coming to the banners, banners serve, an, banners serve as an additional source of revenue for the admins as they can charge a commission fee from the business owners or the service providers who are registered on the platform to display their banners on the website and application and in return you can get them increased orders and increased number of bookings so it is beneficial for all like the customers the service providers and the admin so in order to add a banner you have to move to the banner section here you can view all the banners that are currently being displayed on the website you can add a new banner by clicking on the add button. Now you can upload the banner image, set the name or description you want to display and enter the start date and end date and assign the banner to any particular category or vendor. Similar to the web banner, you can manage the mobile banners and also you can update the promo codes or the promotions, promotion coupons that are being offered on the customer website and application and loyalty points if you want to switch to the dispatch panel you just have to click on this button and you will be redirected to the dispatch panel from here itself you can see a live demonstration of this dispatch panel as i've already said the link is given in the description as well as you can check it out in the suggested video section so this is how the admin banner flow of this home brick solution looks like So now I'll show you the live demo of Homerick customer application. First of all, in the account section, you can sign up or log in through multiple options like using your Gmail account, social media accounts, phone number, email, etc. Coming back to the home section, at the top, you can see different categories similar to that on the website. You can choose any surface from here itself below service categories come banners and you can navigate to any category or offer to which that particular banner is linked to by clicking on the banner itself. Next you can explore all the vendors or surface professionals offering their services on the platform, view the featured services, newly added services and on sale services. To book any service just select it and click on add service. Now, it will move to your cart where you can view the complete booking details like the total pricing, apply promo code if you have any and next you can either book this service now or schedule it for any time later. Now you can select from different payment methods like COD, PayPal etc as integrated by the admin in the admin panel. After everything is done, just click on place order and that's it your order request is sent to the admin. Lastly, in the account section, you can edit or update your profile details, purchase subscription plans, view your loyalty points, manage your wallet, add services to the wishlist, and change settings. This is how the customer application of this Homebrick Home Services app development solution works like. In the service provider app, again you get multiple login sign up options. Let me show you the sign up process as a service provider who wants to register on this platform. 
after you fill in the attributes your approval request would be sent to the admin and the admin can approve the same from the dispatch panel once your request is approved you can log in into your account after entering the otp received so once you have logged in into the application you can mark your availability like whether you are currently available or not next you can view your task and check the entire task history moving further you can track your earnings and tasks from the task history section this data can be filtered for any particular time interval also you can manage or update your profile settings you can customize the app settings like change the language of the app moreover you can manage your wallet see your lifetime earnings and the current wallet balance and from the support section you can chat with the admin support and simply log out from the application so this is how the entire flow of homebrick solution looks like